Hey guys, Chris again from Classic VW Bugs, vlog number 21, I think this is, and it is October 22nd, 2020. What is in the news at our shop? Well, I'm in my 61 Beetle. I have to run to Home Depot and pick up some headliner glue. I gotta go get some, uh, I gotta go to Tractor Supply and pick up a battery for a 66 convertible project that we are working on. Uh, people have been asking me about where they're getting batteries these days. And six volt batteries are becoming harder and harder to find in the right size. And the quality of these six volt batteries have not been good as of late. Uh, I've been restoring some cars that are getting six volt batteries in them. And maybe the batteries are lasting a year or so, sometimes less and they gotta go for another battery. Uh, understand six volt batteries are just not in demand anymore. So whatever you're getting from the store uh, is probably old already and been sitting on the shelf for quite a while. So uh, yeah, there's a problem there with six volt batteries. Uh, so just be on the lookout for that. As at this point in time, unless the client really wants it, I try to push 12 volt. Uh, because you can still make everything look 12 uh, 6 volt so you can get a 6 volt battery I'm sorry I'm, I'm keep messing up <laughs> you can get a 12 volt battery from tractor supply that uh that is basically the right 19 L size battery which is correct for say an early beetle and you can use the correct top on it if you want uh, so Tractor Supply has been having those batteries, and I've been getting those, and they've been they've been pretty successful as a 12 volt. And then, um, if you want to keep the look in the engine compartment, you go, uh, you can buy on this guy's on the Samba, where you can buy like that Porsche generator that has the 12 volt um, uh, guts in it, but it's got a 6 volt body. So you got a 6 volt looking generator, but it's got 12 volt internals and you put it on your engine compartment and uh, on your engine and your engine compartment it all looks the part everything looks correct and they even have the the, the regulator that sits on top of the jenny and uh you know makes it look six volt so uh i just branched off onto this i don't know <laughs> uh, i don't know how i did it but before we get started on anything else be, uh, please be sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell and um Hope uh, you guys can uh, continue watching my channel, and if you can, for the price of a cup of coffee, you can throw us a small donation and keep this content going, keep it alive, and I keep bringing you this VW information uh, on a weekly basis. So, uh, okay, so October 22nd, 2020, I'm two days before my ninth annual uh, Fall Foliage Vintage VW Cruise. The leaves are great right now in New York. Uh, probably at our peak and it's, we've got some nice colors for this weekend I was worried that uh, you know the beginning of uh, the end of September that I was already seeing the leaves change and I was really worried that uh, the leaves are gonna be all brown at this point but I think we're in good shape um, as far as the cruise um, we are abiding by the COVID rules um, we're going to be socially distant. This is a social distant event. You're going to be staying in your cars. You're going to be wearing your mask. There's no gathering back at my shop. So no food, guys. I do apologize uh, just because of the whole New York uh, regulations and everything with this, with this pandemic. Um, if I wanted to warn some of you that are coming from out of state, um, I have a fella coming up from, from Texas. I have... Um, seatbelt on I have um, a couple other people coming from Rhode Island um, and I had another group of guys that were coming from Ohio and those states are on the quarantine list for New York so uh, you know that's a little gray area there um, they want you to quarantine for 14 days if you're coming from out of state so I just wanted to give you guys that heads up. I think that as long as you're coming and then you're going, I think you're probably okay. If you're staying overnight or something, that might be an issue. Uh, so please look into that. Um, again, 
I'm doing this cruise and we're abiding by the rules and we're staying safe with everything so uh, I don't want anybody to get into trouble uh, God forbid um, so just uh, just be aware of that um, and then I wanted to talk about Haggerty recently um, put out something that the Beetle in 2020 has increased in value about 15 percent and that's pretty damn big um, in my opinion uh, I mean I, I've been saying over the years that the Beetle's been gradually uh, increasing in value um, over the years which is great I have not seen many roller coaster rides with the Beetle value which is really good um, but recently on bringatrailer.com uh, uh, which is a great website if you guys ever want to see classic cars going for sale that site has gotten very very popular it's a hot site right now and uh, there's a lot of great bidding action going on there's frenzies going on and there's you know you start to see stuff that's like you know Barrett Jackson stuff you know that you see on TV um, so there was a 67 Savannah beige beetle that crossed the block last week or the week before, and I posted it on my Facebook page, so go check that out. Uh, and it slammed down at $30,000. And it was just a sedan, it was not a sunroof, not a convertible, plain Jane looking car, not, you know, really clean looking car, don't get me wrong, clean restoration. Um, not some of the topmost restorations that I've seen, but a clean restoration, few things incorrect, you know, uh, steering column painted different color, wrong color steering wheel. The two front fenders were wrong. Uh, at least one of them was right, one of them was wrong. It looked like an aftermarket, so you could tell how the horn grills were shifted. And I have videos on 67 one year only uh, characteristics, so look into that. Um, bunch of things wrong with the car. But it was a clean resto, Savannah beige, tan interior, tan carpet. Okay, TMI. There was nothing German square weave or anything like that in there um, and slammed down for $30,000. Uh, I know 67 is a hot year. It's a popular year. Um, but man, it's, uh, you know, I, I didn't expect that. You know, uh, I, I was expecting maybe, you know, high teens, low 20s, something like that uh, in that look of a car. But sometimes I'm seeing some auctions ending with these Beatles. Even some of the later Beatles, 78, 79s, unrestored, insane money. Uh, so, and I know I see like ranting online and on Facebook, people like, some people really, you know, cheer it on. And then there's some people that really poo-poo it and get all angry that the cars go for this kind of money. And I, I, don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. You know, sometimes, of course, things get really crazy, like... I went to Barrett Jackson and saw a bus go across for like $265,000. Some stuff is absurd, but you know, again, that the car is you know 50 plus years old, and it's a cult car. It's a got it's got such an international following to it over the history, and yeah, I know. I remember you guys had them when you were younger, and the, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. They were a dime a dozen. You could pick them up, but you know. Uh, it's, it's a cool thing, I think. I mean, maybe it's pricing some people out of the market now, the average bug guy, because some bugs are just getting up there in price. Uh, but I see just a lot of ranting online where people just get upset when something goes for a lot of money. Um, you know, you got to understand there's a group of people out there that have car collections. They have the money, more power to them, and they're willing to spend the money. And, you know, they also don't care if it's numbers matching or not or it's got the correct pieces on it. They just want a cute bug for their collection. And to me, nothing wrong with that. You know, more power to it. Um, so, you know, leave your comments in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about that. Um, but the car, the Beetle in general, and I touched on it in the past, the Beetle in general has been going up in value. And, uh, you know, I, I've seen stuff this year. Like I said, I you know again go back to say a Yukon Yellow or a Savannah Beige 1968 Beetle, 69, 70 Beetle, Savannah Beige Yukon Yellow, typical black interior, um, TMI stuff, nothing nothing expensive inside, plain Jane looking car. You know, a couple years ago you could probably pick that car up for under 10 grand. 
and now I'm seeing them for 15 to 20 grand which you know I'm taking a double take and I'm like wow you know and and it's not even a, a show car it's a, it's a high you know maybe nice driver so you know I, I'm seeing things sometimes going right under right over me and I, I'm going online and I'm like holy cow I can't believe what, what some of these cars are going for now so I'm in the same boat I look at those cars and I'm like holy cow look I can't believe it you know so yeah some things have, have you know gone up and down so uh, look it, it is what it is and uh, we should be okay with it thank God the car is not in the tank I'd rather it be going for a better value than being in the tank you know um, and then I'll have people uh, you know make a comment on one of my videos where I, I have a, a video I did a few years ago on budgeting your restoration you want to do a restoration on a beetle you gotta you know you should go in with a set mind of how much money you want to throw into it a lot of people don't do that they just say oh I want a beetle and ah, it should only it shouldn't cost that much money it shouldn't be a problem we can do it in our backyard and you know I'll, I'll put like you know if I could put five six grand into it ten grand into it that's about it you know yeah you might be able to if, if you're your own worker you, you do everything yourself and you got a store you know a storage of parts that are left over maybe from another restoration and you can throw at this car that you've had saved over the years but it's gonna be very difficult be, you know to pick up a project that's you know down in a low price range and throw in this kind of money and think you're gonna be in it under 10 grand. I mean, I'm sure there's guys that can do it, there's some places, but for the, mo for mo for the most part, most people are gonna be well over that. Um, I can show you my spreadsheets of the builds that we do. Now, when we do a restoration on a Beetle, the car's completely gutted and stripped down and we're doing all new insulation, new wiring harnesses, new interiors, new padding for the seats, we paint up the seat frames. We get a lot of new parts. Um, if you find a survivor and you can reuse some of the old parts, then yeah, more power to it. That's going to cut your cost down. But as time's going on, those cars are getting snatched up and you, you're stuck with finding a project that was maybe sunk in the mud. Like my 70 convertible, I found that car uh, just north of me in uh, Wapping Just Falls. And I'm just merging on here. And... Um, it was sunk in the mud yeah I, I picked the car up for um, about a thousand bucks seven hundred fifty dollars I paid the guy which is again rare now that was a few years ago I picked that car for that price it's very tough to find any of those anymore in that price range uh, even the even post 67 car 60 you know and um, so we found that car and it, I shipped it to me. So for you know, two, three hundred bucks, it shipped it to me, to my shop, about a thousand dollars. Okay, still pretty damn cheap. I think in the end, I was in that car, uh, I don't know, just for myself, without counting my hours between buying parts, rebuilding the engine, well, I do everything, you know, we do it from top to bottom. And between buying the parts and the paint job and all, I think I was in that car, I don't know, twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars to bring it to a real nice show condition um, you know I had to do support rails bottom of heater channels and needed luggage compartment in the back so if you think you're finding a, a solid car with good bones for a thousand bucks nah good luck I don't know you're gonna find a car for a thousand bucks that needs a ton of metal work and again if you can do the metal work yourself that's gonna save you um, so I had a guy just rant to me saying he couldn't believe that people would dump you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars into a restoration when they should just be able to find a beetle for a thousand bucks and put about five, six grand into it and restore the whole thing. And I just, I wanted to laugh. I said, you know, look, maybe you could have done that in 1984. Maybe you could have done that in the 90s. Maybe even the late 2000s. Because I was doing some, you know, uh, mild restorations in the early 2000s. And I was able to get the car in the bag for under 10 grand between paint and parts and all that stuff. Um, but that's it's very tough today without your car looking like a piece of crap. Um, you could maybe you could do things cheap, but the car's gonna look like crap. So that's what I'm just getting at. You know, I, I maybe there's some you know people are 
just like me sometimes you, you get off the uh, the market trail and you know you lose track of what's what values are of certain things so I'm just here at home depot i'm gonna get out in a few seconds but um so that's what I wanted to get that with that. I don't want to go long-winded with it all. I mean, you guys can leave it in the comment section below. So sometimes these the values of the cars and the value of things in general, parts have gone up tremendously in price. Quality sucks with a lot of it, but parts have gone up uh, a lot. And, you know, paint jobs have gone up a lot. Body and paint. Uh, you know, it's, it's very hard to, to, to wrap around my head unless anybody wants to chime in on it and, and, and fill me in. I know I'm in New York, things are a little more expensive here when it comes to having services done. Uh, but gosh, guys, you gotta really, you know, I just, I got people arguing with me, telling me, oh, how could you not restore the car for under 10 grand? And I'm like, Jesus, this is, uh, to me, this person's 20, 30 years off the market. And they're just, they're, they're remembering the times when we used to find these things for just a few hundred bucks and throw a few bucks into them and they're restored. Uh, so um, that's that um, and then yeah it just uh, we're winding down here the fall foliage cruises this weekend I can't believe it's uh, 2020 has been a very strange year guys um, to say the least um, you know thank God I got my Beatles and I can go driving and forget about what's going on in the world half the time and just enjoy so uh, again fall foliage cruise is this this Saturday, I hope you guys can come. Uh, let me know, give, give me an idea of who's gonna be coming. We're gonna be distant, you're gonna be in your car, you're gonna wear your mask, and uh, please be safe. That's all I'm asking, and I, I think we could have a fun cruise. Uh, but probably gonna be, the cruise is gonna be a little bit shorter this year, because where we go through Bear Mountain, uh, part of Bear Mountain is closed. They're not allowing certain people to go in certain areas because of, again, uh, close prox proximity to one another. So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, we're still moving and grooving on projects. I still got painters and still got a bunch of things going on. And uh, it is vlog number 21. And, yeah, um, that's it. I hope you guys like this vlog. I'm, I'm, it's a little short. Um, but if you got anything you want to add to this, please be sure in the comment section below. Again, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I keep bringing you guys uh, videos like this each and every week. And again, look at the tractor supply when it comes to batteries. Um, they do sometimes sell 6-volt batteries if you want. They're a little bit bigger than the normal battery. I used to get the 6-volt batteries from Interstate, and they had the 19L. But now Interstate is not, is not dealing with 6-volt batteries anymore. Just because of the reason of warranty is short. So I think the warranty is only 6 months. And they don't last. So I think they've gotten a lot of complaints about the batteries not lasting. And uh, I got stuck myself. I had a battery that went bad and I only had it for, you know, six or eight months. So uh, look into that. Um, but yeah, and, and look at, the, you know, the market of the Beetle. It, it doesn't hurt to go to. I follow CollectorCarMarket.com when it comes to uh, looking at the, the so-called values of the Beetles. I know there's people out there that will bid and they'll bid w w with whatever they want. So it all depends on the buyer. But they, CollectorCarMarket.com, I've been following them for, geez, good 10 years or more. And they give a good general idea of where the market is. They update pretty much every year. Um, and again, you take it with a little bit of a grain of salt. Some cars will go higher, some cars will go less. Um, but in general, it's such a great investment to venture off into these cars because, I mean, you can't get this by putting your money in the bank. You can't get this even if you put it in a Roth IRA or a, uh, a 401k or something. I mean, 15% increase this year alone. I mean, the average with your Roth IRA or retirement savings is between 8 and 11 or something like that or 12. So, cheapers. I mean, uh, rock on, Beetle. Rock on. And uh, I'm already seeing, I know Beetle was saying, Volkswagen was saying, hey, they're going to end the Beetle with the, with the newer generation that happened in 2012 to... Oh, was it last year, 2019? I'm already seeing concept drawings online for an electric Beetle. Uh, do a Google search for concept Beetle drawing electric, and you see some drawings out there, and I think it's in the works, guys, because Volkswagen has been copywriting certain terminologies and keywords to benefit them when they go with a Beetle electric. And uh, what's remarkable is that the new Beetle looks like it's got a, a, a four-door. 
and it's gonna be like a suicide door action. That's the drawings that I've seen. Really cool. It looks hot. Um, I, I can't see them not doing it with the with the new ID3s coming out and the, the new hatchbacks and and of course the bus. I you know I, I can only see Beetle. So when they come out with a new retro uh, Beetle, it only then gets thrown back to the old Beetle and everybody reminisces again and they throw up old footage again and reminisce the times again when they grew up with the Beetle. And so again, it brings the value back into this car. Uh, you know, I'm curious to think to see what you guys think of how long this car is going to be popular for. You know, everything has its ups and downs. So, but this car is special. It's international. It's touched so many people at so many levels and for a long time. Remember, it was in Mexico until 2003. So, how more how much longer will the old beetle be popular for do you think will it be like the model t or the model a that generation is long gone now and now you can pick up a model t or a model a for i don't know 15 20 grand something like that they're not as expensive anymore um and you can still find parts for those and build those but i'd love to know your thoughts and and you know give me your input what do you think how long will the beetle last you know, in our lifetime, do you think, before it starts to die off um, and not be popular anymore and nobody wants them anymore? Uh, I even think millennials want them. So, all right, guys, <laughs> I've talked enough. Um, please be sure to, uh, you know, hit me up in the comment section and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. All right, take care. Uh -huh.